Hey, it's Dean with Sciatica Relief Now, and I'm with Allison, who is in Michigan. Allison has been dealing with upper hamstring and lower buttock pain for about 16 months and has not gotten much relief. She only has taken Tylenol and Advil or ibuprofen as needed, which gives her relief. Been to doctors, been going to therapy, been working that painful side quite a bit. Um, and today we got to talking on um, Facebook page and I said, hey, let's jump on a call because I told her she needs to be working the opposite side and said, well, tell me why. And I said, I will later. And so here we are later and I'm going to turn over to Allison for her to tell you her mindset, what she was thinking before the call, what she's thinking now and how my approach is messing with her mind and what kind of results she got. So Allison, thanks for doing this for me and um, over to you. Hey, thanks, Dean. No, yeah, before this, and when you said do the other side instead of the side that hurts, I honestly thought you were crazy. Like, why would you work out the side that feels good when everyone's brain goes to like, oh, this hurts, I should probably massage it, when in fact it wasn't doing anything. So being on here with you for an hour and doing things that I would never have dreamt to have done or my physical therapist themselves haven't even tried to do um, was just mind blowing how how I could lift my leg to from maybe 20 degrees to 45 degrees, even up to about 70 degrees where I could hardly lift my leg to begin with. So just changing it from doing the, the good side compared to the bad side is it's extraordinary. It's just totally mind blowing of you're just going, you're telling me that I've always driven on this side of the road to go to this side and I would be better. And it's amazing. It's, I do not try. Describe. Do not try driving on the other side of the road, please. <laughs> We're not in England. <laughs> okay. On the right side. Yes. <laughs> Correct. But it, yeah, it's it's just it's definitely has messed with my head, but in the best way possible because I've never been able to do any of these things in the past year minimum that I've been able to do. And um, Allison is an avid softball player who plays on five different teams during summer leagues, and she has no idea that right when we um when i hit this um stop the record button i'm going to give her a couple secrets that will number one increase her fat speed and Ooh. increase her power for the next summer real simply and if she's thinking right about what we just did she'll be able to pick up on what i'm going to be telling her so anyway allison thank you for being a good sport coming on and um Telling people, so I got a question for you. If somebody is questioning, see, you've dealt with this for 16 months, mm -hmm. weren't able to lift your leg, couldn't cross your right leg over and lean forward, couldn't reach your um, right toes when you were sitting on the floor trying to stretch. You can do all that now. Yes. Um, and we did pretty much everything 180 degrees opposite of what you were doing and then gave you some exercises that you were thinking this has nothing to do with my hamstring and my butt right. muscle. And actually, the best exercise that we did for you that gained you the most movement and the most relief was when we had you do sit to stands on your good leg. Okay, perfect. Yeah. No, because I actually have a friend who I play softball with, and she has very similar pain to me. So I'll be uh, relaying these uh, this information to her too. Awesome. And hey, she could jump on a call and be my next Michiganian on um on a on a testimonial. Michigander, but yes. <laughs> Michigander. I like Michiganier better. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much, and I will talk to you right after this. Thanks.